we're going to just walk through a quick a quick demo here where we show you how these templates are built and how they can be used to process documents. So we talked about structured, unstructured, and semi-structured. In this first example, we're going to build a semi-structured template. And this, is, this demo is built around invoice processing, but the same kind of technology would apply to other kinds of documents as well. Uh, we're just using invoices for this example. So for each of the fields that you want to extract, you define those in the template, you select a sample file, and then you also say which of those fields that you're extracting appear in a table. And then the system is going to use your sample file and allow you to match up the data that you're trying to extract with where it appears in that sample file. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's great as long as all of the invoices that you're processing look exactly like this. But we're going to show you that, as I said earlier, that this is very resilient. And based on this template that you're creating, you can actually process lots of different invoices as long as the template has already defined the fields that you want to extract and it's already put in what we call tags, which is uh, a different way that that particular field might be called in different documents. So it gives you the ability to have a lot of flexibility built into the process for being able to handle lots of different kinds of documents using that same template. So now we're going to show you using that template that we've just built, what it looks like to go through the step of validating that. And this is our, this is the control center that you're seeing here. And you can see that uh, depending on who it is that's logged into the control center, your view of the world could be very different. Uh, this is just showing where we are in this specific uh, process that we're looking at in this demo. But uh, we're going to, log out and log back in as the person who's responsible now for reviewing the, the invoice documents. And you can see here that the invoice that was processed is actually very different from the one that was created uh, or that we used to create the template. But you could see that we were able to extract all the data re reliably regardless of the fact that it's very different. You can see here that you can set the confidence level that you're looking for here, and that that actually does a lot of different things for you. So it will flag it visually if it's below that confidence level. It could also give you the ability to uh, initiate this uh, manual human review or not based on the confidence level coming into it. So uh, there's a lot of different ways this can be custom customized for your particular use cases. But I guess the point we want to emphasize here is that there's a lot of flexibility built into the technology for being able to uh, handle different kinds of documents, being able, being able to come into the process and routing them through specific workflows based on what you find. So you can see even in an example here where it's working with a scanned image, uh, we've been able to extract the data down to the line items accurately. And then that information can be useful if you need to enter it into another system or use it in some other way, you can certainly do that as part of your process. Uh, we also have some domain specific templates, as I mentioned earlier, that are pre-built for you. Uh, invoices is one of those things. So if you want to use the pre-built process, you just select the fields that you're interested in and you can run invoices through that process and you can extract the data that you selected just using a pre-built model that we've defined for you without having to go through the process of creating a template on your own. And that's really, it's up to your particular use case, which of those paths you want to take, but, uh, but you have a lot of flexibility in how you 
how you want to approach it. So you can see here we've used the uh, we've used the pre-built template and we're able to extract the data from the invoice uh, just as well as when we used our template that we created. And the rest of the process works the same way. One final thing that we wanted to highlight here is, as I said, this gives you the ability to kind of modify things over time. So in this case, we're showing that a data field wasn't found. In this case, it was an invoice number that wasn't found. And so what happens is an administrative tax task gets created for a, an administrator of the system to be able to go in and say, hey, in this case, we didn't find an invoice number because it was put in, it was in that form as invoice hash or invoice pound. And we hadn't defined that as a tag in the extraction process. So that administrator, all they have to do is in that document, draw a rectangle around that field. And then that teaches the bot in the future, when you see this kind of field with invoice pound or invoice hash, you can recognize that as invoice number. And in that way, the system is able to learn over time.